Happy Friday, Kathy. Happy Friday, Michelle. It's also like, it's this almost. is my, this is as far as I'm going with this <laughs> spirit of the season. Yeah, I'm wearing the hat that came in the box with the Christmas tree, <laughs> but the Christmas tree is still in the box, but I can do this. <laughs> if you, if, you're listening, I got. if you're listening and not watching, you're missing Kathy in a Santa hat, which she looks freaking adorable. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I've That's, got this the, is it though. This is all I'm going to do. There you go. I do have to, um, I did do some Christmas shopping and I was on the site and they had like games and toys and stuff. And they had this one toy and I'm, it was called, um, poop bingo. Oh my God. I started howling and I was like, I wish I had this when my kids were little because it was, you know, you know, little kids yeah, yeah. poop this poop that poop. And so I bought oh it gosh. and I'm like, do I give it to the person that I want to give it to or not? <laughs> uh, yeah. Got little kids. And so I'm like, I have to do this. And I then, would. But then I got like really like paranoid. Like, do I, I'm giving somebody a poop thing for Christmas. Like, why do we I... always talk about poop? Why am I bringing this up? We always talk about compost and poop on this. <laughs> I inspire it apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Must be all that, all that Jamie Lee Curtis yogurt you've had. <laughs> Must be, must be. You know, I, I forgot we talked about that before. You you started with the Santa hat on. I'm starting with the Santa voice. I think I've got this really deep yeah. ho 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 voice. It's it's the post state of the word voice. I it hear. is the post state of the word voice. That's right. Whenever I get in a crowd of WordPress people, we all talk so loud, and my voice always takes a hit, even though it was only I was only gone Wednesday, Thursday, and now it's Friday. My voice is completely shot. Somebody in a, a Zoom call earlier today when I'm on my team, I said something about my voice being gone and they said, oh, I think it sounds sexy. And I was like, I am <laughs> claiming that. I am claiming, I am not claiming like raspy voice. I am claiming sexy voice. <laughs> there you go. Like Brenda Vaccaro, right? That's right. Like these lemonade, these lemons made lemonade. This raspy voice made me sexy. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I think I know who said that. I do, I wasn't in that meeting, but I can just hear this person saying that. So I'm going to make a guess. I'll, I'll share it with you later. Want them here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, so You're, how was state of the word? State of the word was awesome. Yeah. You know, for me, it's always about the people. Of course, I love the technology. I'm not stupid. That's why we're all here. Yeah. But for me, it's the people and it's the 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 fact that software doesn't happen like by chance. It's people that come together to create the software. And what I think a lot of people don't realize, I mean, I, I know insiders know, right? So the people who might know us personally understand this. But if you're listening to this and you're not somebody who has a great understanding of how the open source project works, I promise you that everybody can contribute to it, whether you are a developer or not. Every release squad has people who write documentation, has marketing people on it, has so many things more than just the, the actual code that becomes part of core. I, I'm not a developer. I do have a plugin in the repo, but it doesn't make me a developer. It just makes me a pseudo developer. But anyway, um, I contributed to core through my marketing expertise um, at the all women non-binary release squad which by the way laura Byrne asked a question at state of the word saying can we do that again and matt's like yeah. sure and he turned to josepha like are you ready and she's like <laughs> sure when do you want to do it <laughs> and laura's like 2023 and we're all like oh shit i mean oh um oh, compost <laughs> <laughs> that's coming up pretty damn quick <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> but it was great. It was great. And, and, uh, you know, I don't remember, I have pictures that I took of the board when you're sitting there, it's so different than watching it uh, streaming because you're taking in so much that like, yeah, a lot of it's a blur. I've got to go back. I'm going to rewatch it. I'm going to go back to my notes and things like that. Cause I have to write about this for a couple different different um, organizations today. And I'm like, I was there. I asked a question. <laughs> But um, but it was really awesome. And it was really cool, too, that like there's 50 people that get to be in the audience there. And some of them were people that I know personally. But there were more people in the room 
that I've never met before than people that I had. Really? Wow. That's great. And I, I thought that was great because it it shows that those kinds of events aren't just for what people see as the elite or the influencers or the mm-hmm. WordPress royalty, you know. I know some people that are considered WordPress royalty who put their name in and didn't get a ticket. Wow. And yet people that are brand new to WordPress or in WordPress adjacent industries were in that room. And it was super cool to have conversations with people who aren't the people that I run into all the time at, at work camps, right? Yes, we had a dinner, a bunch of us, I think 13 of us got to de- together for dinner on Wednesday night. Um, you know, Bob WP, me, Rich Tabor, um, I can't even think of everybody. Nev Harris was there, um, yeah. Ryan Marks, like a bunch of people that we all know. Um, Aaron Campbell, Bud Krause was there, if you know Bud. And I'm forgetting people and I apologize. Robbie, Robbie Adair, I love her to pieces. Mm-hmm. She's awesome. Anyway, a yeah. bunch of us had dinner on Wednesday night. It was wonderful. It was so good to see people. We went to um, Rockefeller Center and saw the tree. I was blown away by the magnificence of that tree. Like seeing it on TV does not do it justice. Yeah. And so we're watching, we're looking at the tree and Robbie is like pulling up on her phone. That tree is 82 feet tall. There are 50,000 bulbs on that tree. If you stretched all those bulbs end to end, it's five piles of light bulbs. The topper is worth $1.5 million. I mean, she's just like giving us all the details. It was so fun. We had so much fun. It was freezing in the city. Yeah, it's just yeah. so cold. But um, but we had a lot of fun. But then t- the next day to to show up and talk to people who um who aren't necessarily like like I said, those insiders that are, you know, in, in all the different places. And, uh, you know, a, a protege of mine went to Word, uh, State of the Word, and she is brand new to WordPress. And so she got to be in the same room and hear about these things, hear about where we've been, where we're going, take a selfie with Matt. Like, I remember my first selfie with Matt. I don't know if you do, you know, those kinds of things. And uh, she was just like blown away by the people that make WordPress. You know, like you yeah. think about, like I use my, I use, I don't anymore, but I used to use Microsoft products, right? Not once have I ever heard a name in Microsoft besides like the two or three at the very top of the right, Microsoft right. pyramid. But with WordPress being an open source project, that is not the case. We hear right. about the people that are part of the project. And I've said this before, we have an open source software, but we have an open source community. And I think that's yeah. what makes us special and that's what makes it who we are as WordPress so um so I'm exhausted because my flight was delayed and all those other things but I'm also really psyched and really jazzed by the things that that were said and the people that I got to meet there it was pretty cool yeah that is so cool yeah it was kind of cool because in our company slack people were like I see Michelle you know (laughs) and everybody was like so excited to see that you were there and that Timothy who's on the iThemes team that he was there and that you know that that people that we know and love and of course you know I'm looking through the crowd and I'm like and Seth Godin that's Seth Godin (laughs) it was just like Next to all of these people I know, it's like this, you know, yeah. Seth Godin, who's been around for decades as one of the leading thinkers in yeah. the world, world world of marketing and writing and, and all mm-hmm. of that. So um, it was it was a really neat experience, um, yeah. you know, obviously different than having it at WordCamp US and mm-hmm. having, you know, this big event where everybody's like sharing all of this. And then Matt mm-hmm. kind of caps the, the end of the weekend with mm-hmm. the state of the word. Very different. But I think... You know, given where we've been over the past couple of years, this is okay. This works really well. I was on the YouTube live stream. And so like tons of people were popping in there as well. And so we were all like, hey, how's it going? And so there was even online community, even though it's like people that, you know, I know in real life and you know, in real life, we were all just on on chat and it was kind of cool. So, and, and of course, you know, the cadence community, everybody there was watching as well. And so there's been some discussions in the cadence community, Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook page about (laughs) all of that. And we did a live stream earlier today um, and talked a little bit about our thoughts on um, what, what's happening with, uh, with uh, WordPress and the state of the word. It's, it's not, you know, everything you hear doesn't always make you happy, right? When you hear, well, themes are going away and the block editor is taking over everything. And I'm thinking, 
oh, our, our cadence people are going to be like, oh my God, what does that mean for us? Right. Well, cadence works with blocks. Like cadence is blocks. Cadence is better blocks. Yeah. Right. So it's like, if ben, you're, yeah. If you're ben a cadence person, don't blocks. worry. Yeah. yeah. He built, he built the cadence blocks plugin before the theme and yeah. before Gutenberg was even a part of core cadence yeah. blocks was in its infancy. Cause Ben is such a visionary and can see where it was all going and was like, yeah, this is going to be how WordPress builds. And, yeah. and, and it just keeps keeps going he just keeps innovating on that and it's yeah. it's kind of cool to see but yeah no, no I was really excited to hear about a lot of the things especially with Gutenberg and how how fast that progression is is yeah. really happening I knew when it first came into core a lot of people were concerned of like oh why is this abrupt change happening like this and Gutenberg really isn't ready but it needed it needed us in order to become right. ready. It needed users to play with it in order for it to become what it is yes. today. We needed and to break it. We needed to break right. it to make it good. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So in retrospect, I mean, I look back at at the progression from was it 2018, I think, where they it was in Nashville, mm -hmm. 2018, I believe. And Mm -hmm. people were like on planes and hearing from clients that their websites were getting updated yeah. and what's this news you know because it was like very very kind of abrupt but in retrospect you know sometimes ripping those band-aids off is is the best thing in the long term yep absolutely and Matt hit it on the head when he said something about not everybody was happy with Gutenberg there are probably some people in this room who still aren't happy with Gutenberg you know because so, there are some people who just don't like change like I used to teach WordPress yeah. Until Gutenberg came, and then I was like, I don't know how to teach WordPress anymore because yeah, it's so different now. And then I just, of course, now I know how to use it, but it's like I don't teach it anymore. Not because it's Gutenberg, but because my life went in a different direction. So there's yeah. there's just so much, and it's it's I don't know. I think it's still an amazing thing, and uh, yeah. I'm really excited about the future of it. And uh, it was just so fun to be there. Of course, the other part of me wants to be like the head of Hopper that was there. I'm like. And Matt wore really nice Italian leather shoes and a beautiful suit. <laughs> and the food was amazing. Like there was these little mini quiches and like little yeah. mini, um, they called them baby um, filet mignons on like a little crostini. I I'm telling you, the food was off the hook. It was yeah. amazing. <laughs> Yeah, when he ended the the Q and A, he's like, "Okay, let's go have some snacks." And I'm yeah. just like looking over at my kitchen. And I'm like, "I bet my snacks are not going to be as good as their snacks." I might have had like a few glasses of prosecco. <laughs> Did you? Good for you. Oh, it sounds amazing. It was really good. It was really well done. And you know, I want to I want to give some shout outs too. Like there, so I had brought Julia. She got a ticket. She entered the lottery to get a ticket. Um, she's my neighbor upstairs and she is just such a help to me. Um, she helped me put up my Christmas tree, for example. And yeah. I, it's hard for me to travel alone sometimes because I, um, you know, some of the disabilities that I deal with, I can, it's so much easier if I don't have to, let's just say it that way. But, um, so she was, this was her first introduction. Like she's been to some meetups online, but this is like her first time being with people in the same room. And she was like, I, she's on a very restricted diet. And so she couldn't have any of the alcohol. She couldn't have any of the cider and those kinds of things that are there. She's like, oh, I would just go for a cup of coffee. And I was just talking to, to Mo Carter, who is, mm -hmm. you know, higher up at Automatic. And I said to her, I said, oh, Julia just would love a cup of coffee. Do you know where we can get a cup of coffee? She's like, oh, come with me, Julia. She goes, I will make you a pot of coffee. And she did. She made her some coffee. She showed her where everything was so Julia could have a cup of coffee. And Amazing. I thought it's people like Mo talking to somebody who's brand new and treating them like they've been part of the fabric of WordPress yeah. from day one because they are, right? New people coming in aren't the fringe they become the fabric of who we are as a community yeah. it makes an impression on people who are new to the to the community for sure yeah. and new to using the project to using the um, open source software so so huge yeah. shout out to I don't know if she listens to us but huge shout out to her um and to just all of the other people that were just so freaking amazing and Josefa she's awesome and she's did a great introduction about what open source even means and the four laws and things like that. And yeah, it was just, it was phenomenal and totally um, 
So I'm there and Timothy from iThemes is there and he's getting a shout out from Matt for a project I didn't even know he was working on called Engine Awesome. And I'm like, yeah. I have to write about you now, dude. How did I not know you were doing all of this? So yeah, so it's just, you know, I know Hillary Clinton like said, it takes a village. It takes a whole community, a global community to make us who we are. And I am just still pleased that I get to be part of it. Yeah. Isn't it exciting? He also mentioned that WordPress is turning 20. And oh what gosh. software what software package have you used for 20 years? Exactly. Exactly. Like there's not, not many that are able to like shift with the times to be able to meet people where they're at. The fact that that Matt, you know, love him or hate him. <laughs> I personally have so much respect for this man who is such a visionary and seeing yes. what needs to happen in WordPress and is able to take big bets and able to capitalize on opportunities and to be a visionary and a leader. It's not to, to steer a project and automatic, like to be able to steer all of this stuff mm -hmm. um, and to be able to set that kind of vision is a, an immense challenge. And I think maybe some people are, um, you know, want him to make different decisions sometimes and maybe might be a little judgy about that and stuff. But, you know, if you're not in those shoes, those fine Italian shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I don't really know if they were Italian leather because I've not had a hopper. Let's just say they are. They look Let's nice to me. <laughs> Let's just say they are. Um, I'd like to, that's the picture I'd like to paint. Um, That, you know, his hard work has earned him fine Italian shoes. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> You know, he's, he's had, you know, I think he's had, but, but he's smart enough to know when he doesn't know, and he's smart enough to bring in the bright, biggest and brightest minds in order mm -hmm. to help, um, you know, get the right vision. And I am, I'm grateful to him that, you know, WordPress is what it is today. And I'm able to compete in a marketplace where you have all of these other like closed source systems where they can just do whatever they want. And mm -hmm. No, but you know, you don't own your platform, you know, review, they just shut down. If you were writing all of your newsletters on review and you wanted an archive of them, well, I hope you can download them, but yeah. you have to make a different decision for your platform now. Whereas WordPress, WordPress.org, you download, you install it on whatever server you want. You have your backups, you have, you own your site, you own the code because you're building with it. You know, it's, it's yours because of the open source nature of the product yeah. or project. And you don't get that with all of these other, they may be able to move much faster and do, um, do different things, but it'll never be WordPress. Right. Exactly. Take that Squarespace. Take that Wix. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no, there isn't community built around those products. Like there is, you know, um, right. Julia that I talked about, she has a website that she built in um, Shopify because that's what she knew to be easy and to do it. And now she's like, wanting to have a career in WordPress like that yeah. is impressive right that 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 a, that a community can show it's good and bad and still be and still like have people wanting to be part of it I think that's awesome for that's sure awesome. absolutely did you notice the check marks on his lapel I did <laughs> double verified $16 double verified. for that right or, or is that eight dollars but you get double the checks that's what I, it I, is, right? I, I don't remember, but I feel like I have to go buy checks now. I want checks. I want check marks. I don't want, not Twitter check marks, Tumblr check marks. It's something else for sure. It's funny. And a couple of my slacks, I just put a check mark next to my name and I said, I verify myself. <laughs> so my, you know, my fun slacks, I don't do that kind of stuff at yeah, work, but like yeah. the fun WordPress slacks, I'm like check mark. I, I check mark myself. I don't need any, oh. uh, I don't need any uh, crazy uh, billionaires telling me what I can and can't check mark. Wow. So <laughs> As a of fact, I'm inspired now. Um, I, I am an admin, admin of the post status slack. I'm going yeah. to go make a check mark, but it's going to be an orange check mark because you know our color is orange and yeah. make it an emoji so if you want to verify yourself in slack as a as a uh, post status word presser you'll have the ability <laughs> to do that for the low low price of free <laughs> there you go we're gonna roll it out soon after i write my i newsletters. love it <laughs> i love it it's so fun. funny it is fun for sure 
Oh my goodness. So the let that we're on the, the if you're somebody who celebrates Christmas, we are absolutely on the countdown towards Christmas. Um everybody has a new year rollover in just two weeks. So we're on the, you know, if you're spending on your budget or you're trying to figure out how to get everything done through the end of the year, our hearts are with you because we're right there too. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And if, you know, you have extra budget and you need to burn it, otherwise your budget decreases next year, you could always sponsor this podcast. Buy us yeah, a coffee. That. That's right. We won't say no. And we are now um, uh, available through Apple Podcasts and Spotify and I think Amazon too, but I'm not 100% on that one. So we've been submitting Amazing. so you, you can hear us in more than one place now. Amazing. That's exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. We're so. we're real. We're verified. <laughs> we're verified. We should we should just have a um we should change the name of the podcast to blue check mark. <laughs> 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 if we talk about you, you're verified too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll verify you. We'll tell you whether or not you're That's verified right. or not. Yeah. And now we're getting to the part of the podcast where Michelle's just punchy because she's arrived on little sleep. So I'm gonna let Kathy wrap it up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I am grateful. I'm really grateful that you not only got to go, but were invited to go that the WordPress yeah. community, that the community leaders realize what you give to this project in terms of community and the, all of the people that you uplift and support mm -hmm. in the WordPress community, I think is amazing. So I was so glad that you, you got an invitation. You are special it was and exciting. I'm glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. And I'm glad you got to go. I'm glad you got to see everyone. And I hope you get some rest this weekend. Oh, I'm sleeping all day tomorrow. I'm never taking oh. off my pajamas. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds really nice. Right? I know. Oh my gosh. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, thank you everyone for listening. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, give us a like. If you're on Apple Podcasts, give us a review. We, we like the five star ones best. If you want to get us that for Christmas, five stars look good on both of us. Absolutely. Don't, even, don't even need to ask us what our favorite color is or anything. Or, or our size. Five, five stars yeah. always fits. Five stars always fits. Give us that on Apple podcasts. If you are on YouTube, thumbs up are always nice. Subscribe, mm -hmm. um, whatever podcast platform you're on, just, you know, say hi. Absolutely. Drop us a comment on our blog. Let us know you're listening. Let us know that we entertain you on Monday mornings and give us fodder for discussion. If you want us to talk about something, if you want us to talk about your product, send us your product. We'd love to play with it and give it a review. We're Absolutely. open to anything. That's what yeah, we are. Because right? it's all motivational. It's all fun. <laughs> it is. It is. Thank you guys for listening. Um, And we will be back next time. Although, are we going to do this over the holidays or are we going to take a break till next year? What's our plan? I mean, I'm working, I'm working Fridays. If you're working Fridays, we can still keep motivating. It's a, we'll Let's it do out. it. Let's do it. This is the best part. Of, we are here for the, the people, oh, Kathy. We are here for the people. <laughs> we sure are. <laughs> I Amazing. hope you're laughing along. All right, me. everyone. <laughs> Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. That's what we're here to do. Have fun. Thanks so much. Bye.